All right, how's it going? Today we're doing Spy the Watcher, Solar Flawless. We're using Well of Radiance Warlock with Starfire Protocol and Fusion Grenades. We're also going to be using the Riptide Fusion Rifle, a Trace Rifle. Um, but you don't need to, you can use an SMG if you want. We're going to use Thunderlord to start off with, then Grand Overture for Perseus. Here are the mods. Now, Spy of the Watcher is really annoying to do, so the flaws. It's quite long, and especially the Aquilus fight um, takes a long time to do. Um, the rest of it's not too bad. Percy's fight's a bit annoying because there are supplicants, which are just the worst things ever. <laughs> Using Icarus Dash speci specifically just to avoid them a bit easier. Bit more easily. Um, so yeah, for the fusion rifle, we're only really using that to quickly get rid of the eyes on Aglus because the damage phase actually starts as soon as the eyes appear, not as soon as you break them. Thunderlord for Aglus turns out to be probably the easiest and best option for DPS. You know, I know what you're thinking, there must be something better, but there really isn't. Um, the only fusion rifles you have to reload, so you lose a lot of damage that way, whereas Thunder Lord you don't. And I would, I did try Grand Overture, but it just turns out it just doesn't really work with it. Anyway, so, first little bit, all you gotta do is kill the Conduit Minotaur get the Arctrician buff and complete the four circuits. Now you don't want to actually finish any of the circuits until all of them are ready to be finished because as soon as you complete one, supplicants start spawning instead of harpies and as I said before they are just the worst things ever. So you don't really have to kill anything here but I use fusion grenades to get health back and also restoration from fire sprites. Um, but apart from that, all you have to do is just run around, stay alive. I put my healing rift down whenever I get a fusion, just before I get a fusion aid kill, because I have double bomber on my class item, so I get some grenade energy back, and also I get my rift energy back immediately after getting a kill with a fusion grenade anyway. So to do this more easily you just have to sort of learn the pathways. Doesn't matter in which order you do them, as long as you don't finish one until they're all ready to be finished. The trace rifle I'm using is the Hollow Denial, it's got lead from gold and repulsive brace. This is really powerful in this season because you can get volatile rounds on it from an orb pickup which means you can get Repulsive Brace to activate very easily. Which gives you a nice overshield, which is very nice for surviving. If you can craft one, I really suggest doing it because it's really powerful this season. The Riptide Roll is lead from gold and um, Vorpal Weapon. Those are probably the best for this as well, because there's going to be a lot of heavy ammo drops since I'm using double special. Um, which means I get some extra ammo back every time I pick up some heavy. So now we're done here, on to the, uh, fucking, the, the Shaft of Death. For this you want to jump just before the end, and then do a backwards Icarus dash to lose momentum. And that way you'll survive. So now we're coming on to the jumping bit. For this you don't have to kill anything and it's not too hard to run through them. If you are dying a little bit you can get a fusion grenade kill. Um, but 
otherwise just follow this route. You want to run past these hog goblins so they don't shoot you turn to the right so they miss a bit. Jump down here. Jump up on these things. You have to go fast here, otherwise things will start to shoot you. As long as you're out of range of them, they they won't be able to hit you much. Apart from the snipers, but even still they're not doing too much damage. As you can see, that's the most amount of damage I take. Sometimes I go red bar, but I never die. So yeah, just run through everything, not terrible. So now onto the lift, this is very important. You have to spin while looking up. This will make you dizzy. And that's very important. Information stored here, but could it be linked to my visions? Why else would the witness be interested in these files? Trail at the jump there. These jumps are really annoying sometimes. As you can see, I'm not playing my best because the Aglus fight really just fries your brain a bit at how tedious and boring it is. As you can see, I almost die there as well because I'm just, yeah, not playing the best right now. So now, on to the first section. Just gotta climb the spot. You wanna throw a fusion grenade immediately to kill the Minotaur before he teleports. Activate the two starts and then just follow around the left. Once again, don't have to kill anything. If you do feel crowded or you are starting to die, just throw a fusion grenade and place a healing rift and you'll be fine. You go around the left first because it's very easy to do this next side just from here. And there's floor one done. You should have a lot of Arcturian buffs still left, if you don't, wait for the Minotaur to come out of the electricity bit and then kill it. I go around this side so I don't have to deal with the electricity at all. And there's the second floor. <clears throat> Third one's quite similar, just a bit confusing. Might as well getting annoying, but you don't have to kill him. Forget that there's one down there. Once again, my reaction times are quite slow, because my brain is just a bit fried. You want to start that one up there as well. 
And then you want to hit the last one from the side. And then, once you're done, everything will be spawned. Very nice. Now, on to everyone's favorite part, the Aquilus fight. It's pretty simple, but it just... The damage window is so slow, oh sorry, so small, that it's impossible to do a lot of damage. Before, with a weak and clear and solo operative, and before the linear nerf, you could do a full phase. Now, this is about a six or seven phase. Which is just, uh... So we're gonna start it up. I'm immediately gonna go to the left to get this monitor here. Get the buff, <clears throat> and then we're gonna hit the four ones in the middle. I forget that, because I'm an idiot. So now you want to start on the one that you killed the mines on. You want to do that for every phase of this. I'll tell you why in a bit when there's a bit more downtime. Actually, to be fair, there's a lot of downtime now, I'll just say now. So basically, when you kill two Minotaurs, um, two new ones will spawn on the other two platforms that they didn't spawn on. Which means that if you kill the two now, then tools, then yeah, sorry. If you don't kill this one now, then it will be able to shoot you while you're doing damage, and you don't want that to happen. So, if you kill these two at the start, if you, if he's being cooperative, and then you kill another one on the platform that you're going to do damage from then you won't be able to be hit by Minotaurs because the only one left will be opposite to you. Now I'm trying to get some armor charge from some orbs, but I don't manage to, but it's whatever. You don't particularly need armor charge for this, and it's hard to maintain, but if you can get it, it is a nice buff to the Thunder Lord damage. As you can see, we're on the last one. I'm going to kill the Minotaur here. You probably want to clear out a few more enemies, but it doesn't matter too much. For whatever reason, I fail really hard at hitting that. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to clear out some more adds there. So now, on to the damage phase. We're going to use the Fusion Rifle, and we're going to do some sweeping movements to try to get as many eyes as possible in one burst. As you can see, cleared it all out on the fall. Really quick eye clear which is really important. Anyway, so you want to do a bit of damage in the well then start moving up because you will experience damage fall off. You do want to watch out for the floors, sorry the holes in the floor. And then when you have to reload usually you won't get be able to do more damage and that's a good time to drop down the closest hole to take less damage from the blast. If you are red bar it's, there's a very high chance that the blast will kill you, so you just want to be very careful about it. As you can see, not really much damage. Maybe a sixth to a seventh. Actually, probably less. Anyway, so we're going to kill the Minotaur and do the same thing. We're going to start on the platform that we killed them on. You also do want to remember to get rid of Harpies as much as possible. And yeah, you basically just do that like seven times, which is really riveting gameplay. It's much easier to do solo, obviously, because if you get, sorry, not solo, in a fire team, 
because if you do have 50% of damage, you get an extra time on the damage window. Um, you, it's literally impossible to do that here, which makes this entire dungeon extremely hard to solo. Once again, not particularly hard, just long, and you just have to remember to do everything perfectly every time. Well, not necessarily perfectly, but... Choice rifle is very nice for hitting the buttons because it's very accurate at long range. Even though there's no aim assist or anything. SMGs work just as fine though. A bit less, but you know, they're not too bad. So now I'm trying to get some armor charge up, but I don't have any grenades, so it's not gonna work out very well. Remember to reload everything, very important. You do want to watch out uh, for if your well sword is in the way, you can hit it instead of Aculus for diffusion, which can get a bit annoying. Anyway, so we're just going to do the same thing here, just lay on the trigger for as much as possible. goblin there which is a bit annoying. As you can see I'm low health. I put a healing rift down there but it doesn't help much. If you do get blasted away like that, Icarus Dash is your friend. So you're a very good friend. So yeah, there's really not much to say <laughs> about this anymore. I'll chime in when I think about something, but for now, I'm just going to say, if you enjoy this, if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe, it'd be very nice of you. Oh yeah, you can also use your melee to scorch enemies, and then if you kill them, they'll drop fire sprites, if you're in a pickle. I think this uh, this uh, platform is probably the hardest to stay alive on, specifically because Aculus actually does his like attack here, his normal attack, and in all the other places he doesn't, which is a bit confusing, but you do have to watch out for that. As you can see, I didn't kill the Manitou Bear, because that's going to be the one opposite to the one I finish on. And I'm going to kill the one on the platform that I do finish on. I should say that if you're using Repulsive Brace with the Volatile Rounds, it's very easy to get a uh, overshield off a Goblin, but hard to get it off a Harpy, because the Volatile Explosion will kill them instead of the weapon. Which can be a bit annoying, but you know, as long as you know that, you're not going to get caught with your pants down. I 
as you can see I had a lot of extra time after that, so I just threw a fusion grenade. You do have to be a bit conscious of ammo, but not too much because using two double uh, sorry, two special weapons means you get extra heavy ammo drops and if you need more special ammo just have your heavy weapon out and either get kills with it or with your abilities and you should see a fair bit of special ammo drop. Strangely enough the heavy ammo finder actually doesn't work when you're running two specials. Well it only works when you're getting kills with your heavy and not with your specials which is a bit odd. So you could actually run special ammo finder instead it would probably be a lot more helpful. Oh, I <coughs> closed it as a tanker as well. But. No, I will be able to get some armor charge stacks here, but they do run out very quickly. You usually only get about 7 seconds during the damage phase to actually use it, so I use it while I'm in the well to get the full potential out of it. I had 15 seconds here, which is very nice. With, <clears throat> with 3 surge mods on your boots, you get a 22% damage increase. Which, uh, you know, isn't too good, but, you know, it's free damage, so you might as well. Yeah, okay, the bird did get caught whenever I'm keeping it in.
And we're done! Finally, Jesus Christ. Now we're gonna switch to Grand Ovation now. So we can start loading up some missiles by getting kills in the next bit. Doesn't too much matter if you don't. You can just uh, get some kills, get some shots from Percy's when you're down there. So we're just going to snipe these snipers, almost. So for this, you need to kill all but two enemies to get the next wave to spawn. And then we're going to kill everything else just to make it a bit safer. Most things, anyway. You gotta hit these five nodes in quick succession, doesn't matter which order, to open up next bit. You don't need to kill these guys, you can just drop straight down, I just don't know, I felt like it. So now we're on to the fans of doom. This one's easy, just follow the fan load. Next one's a bit harder, you just gotta sort of time it. You can jump through, and onto the next bit. Same thing here. Kill all the hobgoblins. You can one shot with them, grand overture, or with the fusion node. Good thing is, anti-barrier rounds come onto your trace rifle if it is void once you get volatile rounds, which means you can shoot through the hobgoblin shields. I think I do it a bit here. Yeah, see, you can still kill it through there. The volatile explosion won't kill it though. But, yeah. Oh, I did get special. Oh, sorry, heavy ammo finder there to work. It never normally does. Now I'm just going to try and load up more misses. Now onto the next set of fans. Do the same thing for the first one, just follow the blade down. Got hit in the back with that. This one, you can just jump straight over and through. Now onto this bit. <coughs> the enemies don't spawn until you jump out of the center. We're going to use the fusion rifle to kill the Hydra, because we don't have any Grand Overture left. We're going to immediately kill these guys with a fusion grenade. Almost died because I'm an idiot. Run back, and try again. Something's happening with my sounds that are a bit laggy. But yeah, as soon as you hit one, which I accidentally did, you're just gonna wanna book it to all of them. I think I fail here, yeah. Because I wasn't ready. Normally you want to start doing these when you can see at least two of them. Or even the center one as well. See, I accidentally hit that one again. <laughs> I 
And now we drop down and run to the Perseus fight. Fortunately, Grand Overture can one-shot supplicants, and if they're not already starting to explode, they won't explode at all. Because they'll be disintegrated. So for this, you have to kill the two Hydra. Those will cause Minotaurs to spawn. And then you have to do the inner circuit, and then two outer circuits, which will go into the, the uh, enclosed area. You've got to finish them up there. And then go out, <coughs> do the inner circuit again, and have it done. We can also use three fusion rifle shots with Vorpal Weapon to kill the Hydra. I'm only doing this now because I already have all the Grand Overture missiles up. Otherwise I'd be using that. You always have to listen out for supplicants because they will sneak up on you that are very fast. And then you can just choose not to explode and just push you around, which is really annoying. So I'm constantly wanting to get fusion, right, fusion grenade kills, so I can get my healing rift as well, as well as restoration. So now we've got these two ones. Once we've done the outside, we want to go inside. I'm doing the other one on the other side because I know I can from that angle. get a bit overwhelmed, so I just run out. You will get overwhelmed very quickly if you don't keep moving all the time. Okay, so now we've done that, we just uh, wait a bit, then do the inner circuit again. I'm getting a fusion grenade kill there to spawn an orb, so I can get extra damage on my Grand Overture. And also another Minotaur spawned. Didn't actually die to that, which is a bit annoying. But it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, so we want to place our well right next to the door. Immediately go for the missile volley. And then just lay on the trigger, which will get us enough time to do another volley. I'm going to stand a bit back so he doesn't uh, do his stomp attack. Then when we've done that, fusion grenade, fusion rifle shots, about three, and then we're done. As you can see, that was fair, that's a comfortable four phase, which is very refreshing after barely being able to do damage to Aquilus. So, once you've done that, you do want to run into the back room again throw everything out there and then just use these fault like the doorways to get ground overture missiles as well as kill everything. It takes five ground overture shots or four if you have the armor charge. So now when we're done with that, we're just going to throw a fusion grenade all the way over there. We missed, but it managed to get something, which is nice. Since I failed with that, I'm going to have to run away. But he did manage to die from the second grenade, which is nice. So now we just repeat the same thing. This time, it will be the two outside circuits that you didn't do last time. And then after that, they'll be random again. And then the same thing after that.
If our, en our enemies still alive, you do you want to spawn orbs with them. Always want to spawn orbs with them. <coughs> As you can see, I got max armor charge there. This will significantly up my damage because that means I can get the extra 22% on the second volley. As you can see, that's a fair bit over half now. I don't know if you're able to three phase like this. You might actually be able to. Nankaloos <clears throat> has a very large hitbox because it's a Wyvern, so it can body block a lot of shots. Which can be annoying both for trying to kill things and also for uh, trying to hit all the circuits. As you can see, yeah, no, you probably are able to get a three phase. I barely miss out, which is annoying, but not terrible. Mm -hmm. Body blocked by Percy's a bit. Still get missiles out of it though.
no, I don't care about armor charge here because I know just about one bully's going to kill him anyway. Yep. And there we have it. Spy the Watcher's Other Floor was probably the hardest dungeon to do in this season. And yeah, it's pretty painful. But you get a you get a decent and then it's not that cool actually. Whatever. Anyway, I did it under fifty minutes, which was uh pretty nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and I hope to see you again.